Hi, Diane. <laughs> right, hello everyone. We are off to Dubai. Excited? Very. Look at you with your beat headphones. Your beat headphones. <laughs> my flash on. Oh my god, why, why have you got that? Why do you have that? It's so random. <laughs> Lots selling it on the flight. <laughs> Look at this, we've got our own little mini bar in here. An iPad. Set up a new camera, look. Setting up my new camera. I have to take it off this first, don't I? I bought it for you so you could try and actually learn learn your craft and learn, learn how to my use craft it. And do, like, so, I yeah. feel like my niche is that I do everything wrong. No, that, yeah, that Brilliant. stresses me out way too much. Easy, is that? Sounds it's, like Giovanni's. This is your, it's your mate, what's his name? What, the guy you, David. No, the guy you dance with, dance for. Oh, Andrea? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dance for him. <laughs> Next Taylor Swift will be on. Oh, this is what I need. What? I know you shouldn't put your fingers in a plug socket, but that is my, the favourite thing I see on a flight. So They've actually got Christmas films. It's like an actual category of Christmas films. Look. It's getting the Christmas spirit already. But guys, I am playing to... Oh my word, that is like one of my favourite. <laughs> After a long old flight, we've arrived on straight... Whoa! I feel like we're in the Great Barrier Reef already. <laughs> Look at this. Look surroundings. Look at that, wheel shot behind me. Cool, behind me. Love it already. Arrivals, let's go. <laughs> oh, look, the trees are out. Yeah. So you do get Christmas trees down here. Yeah, you do. Oh, uh -huh. just put a bit of Joe Malone on. Oh. Look, I love this, on their trolleys. They've got the little quackers. Oh. Here we go, wait for it, wait for it. It's warm. It's so warm. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm wearing this, but it's so nice and warm. Is that is that Perth's Christmas tree? Yeah. You don't have normal Christmas trees. You have that. That's a Christmas it's like, tree. It's like SpongeBob's house covered in Christmas lights. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're waiting for um, Mel and Andrew, who we thought were going to be here, but I don't think we think they're spying on us somehow because. Where are you? What is the car? Does he, does he drive a car? What car does he have? Uh, no, it's a new one. I've a never... ute? Has he got a ute? No, no. Oh. But I've never seen it um, car. But he, said, he asked us what terminal we're going to be at, so we were there. Uh, so we definitely think he's here, but we just walked straight through and he didn't... They weren't waiting for us. So we think that they're spying on us. If we go over here, the tree. Yeah. By the tree? Next to, next to the, what, the eucalyptus tree or the SpongeBob's house tree? SpongeBob's house tree. Yes! <laughs> G'day, guys. Day two of Australia, sort of. Day, it's called day one. Breakfast is served. Pancakes, strawberries, and ice cream. You're never too old for ice cream for breakfast. But vanilla and boysenberry. I've never heard of boysenberry in my life. I'm excited to try it. What's a boysenberry? Also, can I just point out how nice it is to have the sun on my face? It's been way too long. Morning. Morning. What have you got there? I have got my toast and peanut butter. Peanut paste. And this little um, bush honey. I've got bush honey. Oh. <laughs> We're going for what's this again? This is salted caramel butterscotch like alcohol. Oh, great. Welcome to Australia. You just like, get straight on it here. Just, just, a, oh, just a little, little bit. Early morning keep. Oh, yeah, it can keep you alive. <laughs> to be fair though, back in England, it's like almost 1 a.m., which is prime partying yeah. time. Yeah, oh, time. God, it's perfect. Typical, innit? British boy arrives and brings the British weather with him. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Was it 40 degrees? It's 40 degrees. Like it's been week. 40 degrees the entire time. As soon as I fly, we fly sorry. over, yeah. Yeah. I bring the weather with me. I'm sorry. This is what British people do. Typical. Great for the plants, though. What is this? What is, what is, what is this? <laughs> the, mad, the mad catter. Mad catter. Man, we love our puns in news. It's Australian like TV world. is something else. I love it. <laughs> Do we need like morning shows like this in the UK? Oh, I missed it. Where was the big nips? Oh, the big nips. Bring it back. Big nips Magoo. What even is this show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word, look. Oh, I can smell it. It's burnt. I can smell it like a now. This is a bushfires. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. So last week oh my was word. Yeah. Look at that. Whole 
trees that was burnt. <laughs> we have arrived. Where are we? We're in Lanslin. We're in Lanslin. We're, Lans we're, Lans we're gonna go uh, have some food and then uh, go explore. It smells like fish here, eh? It does, yeah, it stinks. It smells like I thought Diana fired, but it wasn't. It's Megs. It smells like it's Megs. But we're gonna go get some food and hopefully maybe do some sandboarding. Oh, look how festive it is, look. It's so so festive. <laughs> Just stopped off some bit of food and I finally got myself a giant Australian 50 pence. Like these are like our 50, yeah, 50 cent. Our 50 p's are like tiny compared to this, I feel like. This is massive. Do you not think? What's 50 pence over there? Like, it looks exactly the same, but it's just like um, smaller. Ah. But this is like meaty. Do you know why there's a kangaroo and an emu on our arms? They used to fight. No, because both a kangaroo and an emu cannot walk backwards, so it brings us, brings us forward. Aww. A little bit of info there. So, they, so if you were getting chased by one of these, just run back. Yeah, they can't run backwards. Well, they can't run backwards. So we've come here to this little, the butcher. <laughs> we've come to the butcher to rent sandboards. Did you have a go? Oh, was, no, you can have a go, but it's not plugged in. Oh, what? I know, I was actually oh, excited. Do you know what my nan said as well? She said the one thing she wants whilst I'm here is a, is a little stuffed um, koala. Is that what she said? Yeah. Oh, Charlie the Postman, if you're watching this. This is a sign that you would absolutely, definitely have at your house. That's can you uh, can you speak like a pirate, please? Say. Oi, oi, okay. Captain. I want you to say something. So I want you to say, like without, like put your tongue out. Uh. And say, I was born <laughs> in a pirate ship. Yeah, yeah, right here. You were born in a pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're going to plan on doing today. Look how much fun they're having. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah. Except for this guy, he's having no fun. Oh my god! You can get five for eleven dollars. They still have DVD rentals. Oh my god! And they have look. Oh my god, Joe, you're. They're wonder park. Coming to uh, the movie rental place in Lance Lancelin. Oh, definitely go for that one. So we've got. If you bog your car, is also what she said. Because oh that my god! <laughs> Damage or lost broken boards it's will like cost you 180 dollars. So we've got to pick a. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get me. Yeah. So we've got to try and pick a board. To see which one we like. Why have some got the straps in? Some of. Oh, that's what we're sitting on. Ah, uh, got yeah, one. stand ups. Why would they do that? But they said they said you can do whatever you want with them as long as they don't come back like this. Then they then they're not usable again, which makes sense. We've got our boards. We've got. <laughs> this is the real outback, Joe. Snakes are plenty out here. Take a photo. You, you may might need, need this number. number. Oh my god, let's take a photo. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Basically, if we don't stick to this that. track, there's a lot of people out there. But if you get stuck, apparently it costs an absolute bomb to. And it costs six dollars for milk and bread out here. So imagine what it's gonna cost to get your car towed out the sand. I reckon this thing can get through, get through any sort of sand. I'm getting real Mad Max vibes. I tell you what though, if you didn't bring sunglasses, you're a fool. Because I can't see anything. The sun bounces off the, the white of the sand and you just can't see anything. And it's overcast too, so imagine when the sun is out. Oh, exactly. The good news is, there's not much chance of walking into anything because you're in the middle of nowhere. But, although Dan does, does still walk into stuff. <laughs> Feels like we're on the set of like another planet, like a moon landing, huh? Doing it in shifts. We have to take it in turns to wear the sunglasses because you actually can't see anything. This looks like a music video. It's a bit windy over here. Look at the other end. Go look at the other end. Woo!
They look, like, the they look like fossil, like dinosaur eggs. Oh god, Joe, you're in your element with fossils. Yeah, oh, dinosaur god, eggs. Oh my god, it, there's loads. Wow. And oh, what's the other theory earth? then, Mel? So, uh, that this is limestone that just wind has shaped. Can you get can out of the car or not? Yeah, but you can go even further. See, this, just keep going a little bit more and then park there. I feel like I'm honestly on a different planet. I feel like we're in the dinosaur. So this, it's dinosaur. just so <laughs> random. That's what it is, isn't so it? Cool. Oh, and yeah. no one knows why why this is here. No, so they don't have a explained theory why. Right, we'll get it, let's we'll get this child lock off. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get my camera out of the boot, please. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> so where's this plumbing up? This <laughs> 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 no. Andrew, can you unlock the car from that side? <laughs> 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 Legs got out this time. Yeah. <laughs> Let me out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll wait in the car, guys. Enjoy the weird. Enjoy the weird sp space rocks. I'll stay in here. Look at this. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I mean, in the UK, we've got Stonehenge, and that's about it. And I thought that was impressive, but this. This is like Pinnacle Hedge. Yeah. What is this? They must be old because they're like stone fossilized. So I reckon it could be fossilized trees. I reckon dinosaur eggs. I think this is also a dogging spot. I just don't get what's going on here. If you're from Australia, you know anything about all these things, let me know in the comments below what you think it is and what's going on with this. Cause it's just so unusual. I don't get it, but I'm loving it. I ain't got shoes on. I'm so at one with nature. They are just big fossilized dicks, aren't they? <laughs> I love how we're in the middle of Mars and we're still getting held up. <laughs> Give him a beep. <laughs> Get out of the way. You cannot tell me that that's not a fossilized dinosaur dick. Well, I don't see. Oh, there it is. Over there, look. There oh. It oh. Blends in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Amy, Amy come back. We can get out. Look. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. There he is. There. Is that a Loch Ness monster? Oh, he's seen us. <gasps> Derek. <laughs> Steven. Do you see the Amy? There's an emu right there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's $10, please. He's <laughs> about to attack your wife. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about the people? We're actually oh. going to attack the lady. No, I don't be, think they can attack. You've been framed. Oh. they got sharp yeah, claws. they got sharp claws. Do they? Yeah. Do they it's just loving life, isn't it? Look. There you go. We've got the emu shadow. Can you count from five this time instead of three? Five, four, three, two, go. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That was the one. It wasn't as synchronized. Yeah. <laughs> His nipples come out again. Oh, you love a good nipple shot. <laughs> Just when you thought today couldn't get even more jam packed for a first day in Perth. Where are we going? We're going to Scarborough Beach. To Scarborough Beach. Scarborough Beach, which is uh, a beach. You got it. Mel, what else can you tell us about Scarborough Beach? The history of it. When did it first get there? Oh, please. <laughs> it's the beach which next time I propose to Mel. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, they got sunset markets, Christmas markets. Oh! It's a fly in the car. It's a fly. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Um, we're gonna go hopefully catch the sunrise. Sun, sunset. sunset. That's it. <laughs> sunset. We're not that long. Yeah. So. <laughs> if we miss the sunset, then we're catching the sunrise. Um, but uh, we've got like what half an hour to get there. Do you reckon? We got. Oh, it's gonna take less. Oh, less, less, than less, less So yeah. we should be. We should be fine. My eyes. I'm very like pleasantly surprised. I had a little nap in the car on the way back from. I know we're we're doing well, Joe. But I tell you what. Do you know it freaks I've me out? I've got when the bags. Do that with their eyes. Really? Yeah. Ah. Freaks me out. Do you not like that? So far, we've done like an all night. We're doing well. Well done. That's little our first nap. one night. If we can get through today without having a proper sleep, then we've oh, conquered no, jet lag. No. We're sick. We've oh, done a full no. nighter. I feel like the flight definitely helped though. Like we because we could lie flat on the plane. That yeah, definitely very helps. Thankful for that. Um, but uh, we, and we were well hydrated. I drank about four bottles I of water on that plane. I drank. So much. How many times did I get up and go to the toilet? Yeah, too many. Like so many. That's why I'm glad you're on the on the aisle. Let's go scarves. Scarves. You, so you oh, you're getting into. Is that what you call yeah, it? Scarves. Yeah. See, I'm so I'm so Australian already. Bonza. Andrew, I recognise that hoodie from somewhere. Yeah. Where's it from? Oh, I'm going to the UK. <laughs> there was this shop called JD's OPs or something. <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew's wearing my old hoodie Hello. and Mel was wearing Diane's old jacket. <laughs> you can picture the music that you're going to play over the top of this right now. Yeah. Jeanette. Yeah, behind you, like in the red. <laughs> Next destination. It's non stop today, isn't I mean, it? It's full on. It's an action packed day. I love it. Ooh. We are at King's Park. King's Park. Which is known for having a. Wow, what a view. Aww, a little romantic picnic going on. This is Bonza, mate. Absolute Bonza. Can you go down here? But, uh, over there, right, okay, let's go. Far left it I'm is. I'm picking up the eggs, watch out for snakes. Watch out for snakes. Avoid the snakes. Is that a well? Hello. Yeah. It's a wishing well. Can you see down there? How deep down is it? Have you seen the Simpsons when you get stuck down the well? Yeah, the wells yeah. creep me out. Yeah. That's a bit creepy. You seen the, have you seen the ring? So it's like a picnic, picnic service? Yes, exactly. That's so awesome. It's a full shebang as well. Candles, that tables. Really? Oh. I can't remember the lady's name. Should invite, you should invite him to the wedding. Yeah, we should. <laughs> wow. Well. It's called the, it's called the City of Lights, right? Yeah. It's called City of Lights. Why is it called that? <laughs> you want to know why? Oh, here we go. Fact of the day. Fact of the day from Mel. So when they were out in space and they were passing over Perth, yeah. everyone sort of lit their candles and lights outside to signal to the people out in space. And they could actually see Perth from space. So in the actual oh. broadcast, he's saying, oh, it's like a city of lights. And ever since then, they, they claim. have to claim city of lights. Ah, oh. oh. ding, 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 10 points. Yeah. <laughs> but I gave you the fact about the kangaroo and the emu today not, not be able to go. And exactly, yeah, so, he did. I, that was worth 20 points. And I found out that that company did your proposal as well. <laughs> Diane. You're trying to trick me. Uh, no. Behind me. It's an, actual, it's, it's an actual piece of Aussie wildlife. I found a kangaroo. Uh, it's a kangaroo. Look. I have balls. There's balls. <laughs> this is as festive as it gets in uh, in Australia. This is as this is, this is Christmassy as it Christmas it. gets for Australia. I don't mind that, I like that. I mean, look at the kangaroos though, they're all in different positions. Yeah, that one's lying down, that's a lazy one over there. That one's going for a dump. <laughs> this one's ready for a, a boxing match. I love how Father Christmas here has got his uh, his bathers on, his swimming, tr swimming trunks. Last pit stop of the day because we are absolutely shattered. It's like Banksy's gone to town on it. 
to my right over here, we have a little Christmas show happening on the, uh, the church. Yeah. yeah. If God knows this was, knew this was going on, he'd be well annoyed. Actually, no, wait, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a carol, yeah. We three kings of Orient are One on a scooter, one in a car One on a scooter blowing his hoot <laughs> Following yonder star I actually do feel very festive. Considering it's like it's got kangaroos in it and it's got Father Christmas in it in, in speedos, I do feel very, very festive. And we're stood in a bus stop in Perth. <laughs> you know, I, I, do, I do feel like, oh my god. <laughs> I do feel uh, well festive. I forgot to mention that one of my favourite things about Australia, which I forgot about, is the, the button you press when you cross the road, the noise it makes. We have to go quick because it's about, it's about to happen. I want to make sure you hear it. It's such a cool noise. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. See, it makes this little beepy noise. Boop. 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 Wait for it, I'll go in a minute. I'm so excited. I love <laughs> it. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. This is gonna be weird. Three, two, one. Oh! I love it. <laughs> Favorite thing about Australia. So in that, it's like David Attenborough show. The cat's going to go for the moth. He's both. He's both. Oh! oh, oh that. That's incredible. It's a big moth. That's a big. That's one of the biggest moths I've ever seen. Well, we tried hard, but not hard enough. Hello. The moth will survive. To live another day. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my word! Look at my tan. Day one, I'm already bronze. The sun. I mean, I have not tanned at all. The sun's not been out, but they always say the sun can be a cruel mistress in Australia. It's not like your regular sun. It's such a different sun over here. It's the same sun. Don't know why people always say that. But so it's with the ozone layer, is it? Is the ozone layer thinner here or something? Closer. Close to the equator? I don't know, but anyway, they say you've got to be very careful, which you do. Always make sure you slip, slap, slop. I learnt that on the way over here. Slip, step, slop. That's like the, the, the saying of Australia. Um, but what a first day. Oh my word, it's been fun. Sandboarding, which I still have so much sand in my right eye. I've just had a shower though, I don't want to get sand in the bed. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more um, future vlogs. And I'll see you again very soon with another one. See ya. Good night.